this time I'd like to invite the children to come forward for the children's message. <coughs> <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. <clears> throat. Can you see it in there? No? Okay. I have to make a diagram for you today. Um, there's a war going on now. Do you know that? And where is the war? Iraq. Iraq. Also Afghanistan. Remember that name? Well, this is a story that comes from the war. <clears throat> it's about a little boy, about uh, seven years old, and a group of army guys in a Hummer. You know what the Humvee is? The Hummer? Sounds like a regular Hummer. Sounds like a regular Hummer. What's a regular Hummer? Gets crashed in the ending. Gets crashed in the ending. Hmm. You watch a lot of adventure movies, don't you, Emily? A Hummer is a big vehicle that the army uses. There are some uh, around here that you'll see. Big, it's a big, huge thing. It's real wide, and um, the Army has guns mounted on, on it usually. <clears throat> and I think a half a dozen soldiers travel around, and they patrol the roads to see if uh, there's any trouble, anything they need to take care of. And um, one of the terrible things is that sometimes these guys who are driving along trying to keep the peace and trying to help people when they can, sometimes they get attacked. And um, as you know, we, sometimes you'll see on the news that um, some soldier in Massachusetts or other part of the world has been killed, and you'll see uh, his family mourning the fact that this somebody's dad or brother or sister or uncle or husband, whatever, was killed. Well, I'm going to draw a picture. We're going to pretend this is a road here. And now, <clears throat> this, this thing here will be the, this will be the Humvee full of soldiers, and we'll put, we'll put six soldiers in it. This is an aerial view, see. What? Put nine soldiers, put nine soldiers in it? Okay. This, this one has the third seat, which was optional at the dealer. <clears throat> All right. They're driving down this road. Steering. We'll say they're... Where's the steering wheel? <laughs> <laughs> and they got no wheels. It's They're just underneath. They're underneath. It's an aerial view. Use your imagination, they will you? No wheels. But they just they the no, they're just heads in, in a box. <laughs> okay, here's the wheels you're looking at. Yeah. The wheels are sticking out for some reason. Here, I'll put tail lights on it too. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble for that. All right. They're driving. They're driving. Don't don't help them. They're driving down the road. <laughs> There's two artists in the back here. They got to see everything that anybody draws. <clears throat> there are no windows. Are you trying to, <laughs> to aggravate me, <laughs> Abby? All right, it's going down the road. Now, on the side of the road is this little boy, and he's just watching him. <laughs> he's a small boy. He's, a, he's your size. This is a big, huge vehicle. Mm -hmm. And these guys got helmets on. That's not the size of their head. Is he going to get run over? Somebody's going to get run over. I'm <laughs> telling you that. <clears throat> anyway, um, so he's not going to get run over. He's standing on the side just watching them go by. And you know what happens? The Humvee comes up here, and they stop right here. And one of the guys gets out of the Humvee, and he goes over here. And you know what he does? He has a teddy bear. A teddy bear. And he gives the teddy bear uh, to the little boy. And the little boy loves his... Is that the car? Yeah, you love teddy bears? Is that the car? Yeah, I think... No, everybody loves teddy bears. So there's nobody else around. There's probably buildings over here or something like that. Yeah. There's nobody else around. And so they give him the teddy bear, and he says thank you. And the, the uh, army um, squad leader, whatever he was, sergeant, let's say, he shakes the boy's hand and they move on. Now, this is the next day. And here's the road again. It's a lot like the other one, in case you're interested in the back there, okay. And the Humvee comes along here like this, with the wheels that's sticking out on the side. It's skinnier than the other one because they had to take a different Humvee today. Um, <clears throat> the other one was out of gas. 
They're driving along. This time, the little, boy's in the, middle of the, the little boy is standing in the middle of the road. I'm going to draw some rocks around here, too. These are rocks or shrubs or something. Where are your parents? Run over time. Tom looks around like, I don't know. Why? It looks like, okay. it Here's, looks like he's getting run over. No, he's not going to get run over. So the Humvee stops, and they get out. And the little boy has his teddy bear in his hand. Here, I'll put that in. He's got his teddy bear in his hand. And he's in the middle of the, why is he in the middle of the road? I don't know. He wants them to stop, right? He wants them to stop. He wants to make sure that they see him. And so he waves his hand, and they stop. And do you know what he says to them? He says, thank you again. But he says, thank you in a much better way. He said, I saw someone hiding a bomb behind this rock, which was going to blow up. And that's the way a lot of people put a little fire on it. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. So there's the bomb. It's a big explosion. I, I'm not Walt Disney, you know. This is a very simple drawing. Um, so he says to them, I saw somebody uh, hide a bomb back here. So the Humvee turns around and parks, and they take the young boy with them so he doesn't get hurt, and they call in another group of men who come and disable this bomb and take it away so the bomb doesn't hurt anybody. So there's a lot of stories happening in, a, in war that we don't often hear about, but that one particular story is an important one because if that bomb had gone off, the chances are those men in the Humvee just driving by would have either been very badly hurt, some of them may have been even killed, and that's what's happened in Iraq quite a bit. So the difference was what? The difference was maybe the fact that they stopped and gave this boy a teddy bear, but they were trying to prove they, and they continue to try to prove to the people in Iraq that Americans um, want to help them. They want to do good for them now that the biggest part of the war is over. But there are some people who are still very nasty people, and they're still doing very bad things over there. So it makes it very difficult. But when you hear about wars, and, you, and wars are talked about, and I know your parents are worried about this, and it's discussed um, sometimes on television and in the news and all that, you have to remember there's a lot of stories. And it's not a simple thing. It's a very complicated thing. It's so complicated that it even involves little boys and teddy bears who are saving some soldiers' lives. Nothing is simple in life. That's one lesson that we find hard to learn. And most of us want to make it real simple, but it's not simple. It's always complicated. This is why it's important for you to go to school and fill your head up with a lot of knowledge, because then you can take all this complicated stuff apart and understand it, right? Okay. Was learning how to read complicated in the beginning? Yeah. And now I know some of you are really excellent readers. You can go to your Sunday school classes now. Thanks for listening. <clears throat> and thanks for the input on the drawing. <laughs>